Ever knew a song by heart the first time you ever heard it? Exactly, didn't think so. Meaning you had to listen to the song several times, might even read the lyrics just to remember the words. So I like practicing singing the words to remember the song. See, practice makes perfect. Without practice, we can't exceed in what we do in life. No one cannot just practice and make it to the top. With sports, singing, dancing, art, all of the above, you get the idea. You have to practice. Hello, my name is Jessica Blakely, and I'm practicing right now, you all, my speech skills. See, practice is a way of life. Without practice, there isn't any progress. For example, let's say you're, you're auditioning for a play, a musical. You have to, and let's say the director prefers you to memorize it. He prefers you to memorize it by heart. However, you have a few days to get prepared. So in preparation, these are some things you can do. The first thing you can do is, according to Backstage.com, is write down the script. Write down it in one big paragraph. Recite it out loud and do it again. And that's one way. Another way is the rote way, if I can remember, the rote way, which is repeating it over and over, the regular way. And that will really help. Just always stay calm, relax. Don't overthink it. Relax. It's not that big of a deal. It is a big of a deal, but it's not that big of a deal for you to overdo it. And also, listen um, recite your recite your your lines in front of a friend so you can get constructive criticism that will also help because at the end of the day the more you practice the better you get and the more you'll get to memorize it by repeating it and then you'll be most definitely getting that role you want let's ha for another example trying out for a sport let's say you did this sport for a while but you took a hiatus and now you want to get back into it. Of course, you go the first day to see what they want, what they're looking for for the sport, what kind of people they're looking for, what kind of skills they're looking for. Of course, you want to get back in the game and you want to be on the team. If you're playing the sport before, it should be like just cleaning up your um, skills, definitely. So, of course, you work your hardest at at the tryout practices, you work out outside of tryout practices, then the day of tryouts, you nail it. Because you know they've been looking at you the whole time, and you got it. Another one is, you can never, oh, you cannot overdo it. Imagine if Bill Gates gave up and didn't improve his craft of Microsoft. He wouldn't probably be the billion, the biggest billionaire in the world. Another thing is LeBron James. He's a, he's taken a lot of L's, but it's okay. He's taken a lot of losses. You know, first time he was with the Cavaliers, he didn't win a ring, but it took him a few years to get a ring to another team to come back to his home team and get the ring last year in 2016. Another person is Oprah. Oprah didn't necessarily have to practice, she just had to work very hard to get where she's at. And also, with that being said, practicing is also hard work. It's not going to be simple. You have to work hard for what you want in life. And remember, you have to practice no matter what you do. Practice makes perfect, practice makes progress. Again, I'm Jessica Blakely, and I hope that these tips helped you out. Thank you. If there are any questions, you can comment below.